Welcome to the evolution of Zappable. Within Zappable, you can build mobile apps with point and click simplicity. Everything is literally at your fingertips. You can change the whole look and feel of your app with ease from your app icons to your navigation layout. So you can change your icon simply by clicking. You can have drop down menus instead if you wish or you can have your menus along the bottom um, of your app. Same goes for colors, you can change any colors you want. You just simply click, drag the slider across and choose which colors you want to use. For this video, I'm just gonna keep everything at default so I can show you exactly what a member will be able to build as soon as they log in with very minimal applications. I mean, you can change background images, you can choose a color for your background, you can add it in your own header graphic, your home buttons, your back buttons, and your splash screens. So that's the design section. And then on the list feature, features screen, you can simply add in the features that you want. Just simply click on it, click on add, the feature will then be added to your app. Now we have over 30 features within Zapperable that will allow members to build a vast Party of apps. So let me just show you a quick example and then at the end of this video I'm actually going to transfer the screencast onto my phone so you can actually view an app in real time. So for the Amazon feature you can add items to your app that will be through your Amazon affiliate ID. Again you can choose various different languages or you can have your own custom buy button. So the add items, you would just click on add items, enter in a keyword, click on search, and items will come back. You select the ones you want to display, and when you're happy, you just click on save, and these items will be automatically added to your Amazon store. The best part is as well, is that when users have your app installed on their smartphone, Whenever you add products here, they will automatically be added to your user's app. The user doesn't need to update the app in any way. It just automatically syncs across. It's completely dynamic. And then you can see how it looks. The products get listed, the price, and the buy button. So that's just one of the features, and that's how easy it is to build out an Amazon store. You can build out video galleries as well. You can use YouTube, uh, Dropbox, stream your videos from or you can stream them from any custom URL. Again, very simple to add a YouTube video. I'll just show you. We'll click on add videos. We'll click on YouTube. I can search for a keyword, playlist or channel. So I'll just do keyword, football skills, click and go. And there, and then I can just select the videos I want, click and done. And the videos are now added into my app. Once I click on save, these videos will be synced across automatically to my app in real time. So you can see here the videos are here and it also lists the view count. That's how easy it is to add content and it's the same for nearly all features within Zappable, whether it be um, loyalty cards or whether you want to add um, RSS feeds or if you want to add coupons into your app. It's all very simple to do. Again, another huge feature is the form builder, where you can build in custom forms into your app that will collect the data that you require from your user, whether you're building apps for small, medium-based businesses, or wherever you're building niche apps, and you want to be able to segregate your lists we hook into MailChimp, Infusionsoft, GetResponse, and Aweber. Or, if you want, you can just export your leads and import them into any autoresponder available. Also, another great addition to Zappable is we've now completely automated the iOS process. Before, only people who have Macs were able to build apps for iOS. But now, wherever you're a Windows user, a Mac user or any operating system that can use a web browser can now build mobile apps for Apple. It's a simple six-step system. 
And not only that, within Zappa we have a full training academy where we have lots of different courses that users can go through to teach them from the very basics right up to the most advanced skills. So for feature tutorials, we have a vid video tutorial on every feature within Zappable. We have full training on iOS Apple apps, small medium based business apps. Plus we have the forum, an extremely active community. And last but not least, I want to show you push notifications, but rather than me show you it on the computer, I'm going to switch across to the app on my phone and you can see push notifications happen in real time. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the push notification feature and how it displays on your device. Now for each device, it'll be different. iPhone display them differently to Samsung and so on. Now what's cool about the push notification is you can send it based on geographical location as well or you can send it based on Android users or iOS users. So you have quite a lot of freedom with it. So I'm just going to click on publish now and you'll see how quickly um, it gets through to the phone. So I'm just going to click on publish. And you can see here it instantly lands on my device so I'm just going to click. And you can see here it takes you to the video gallery page which is the tab I selected and when I sent the push notification you can send them to any area of your app or you can send them to a website as well. The next cool thing is you'll notice a little bell icon in the top right hand corner of the app that stores all your past notifications so it's handy for people just to come in when they open their app to find out notifications that they missed so that they can look again. So this is what we like to call the preset app design within Zapperable. What that means is a user can log in, they can add features and they can build an app and this is what it will roughly look like depending on what content they add. With that being said, there's a flip side. Users are able to customize every single part of their app that they want. They can change their headers, they can change their footers, they can change the app icons, they can change titles, they can change the color of text, they can change backgrounds, they can change splash screens, they can customize their app to be designed any way that they wish. So with this video I'm going to show you what the features look like on an actual smartphone. I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus for this presentation and we'll start off with the first feature. The directory feature is a very popular feature amongst members. You can use this to build out any type of directory possible. Members have been using it to build real estate apps where they are listing properties, uh, auto dealership apps, tourism apps where they're listing a directory of landmarks, restaurants, coffee shops, ice cream shops, etc. So the options are quite limitless. Even people who have listed stadiums for different sporting events, uh, go-kart tracks, racing tracks, and so on. The reason why it's so powerful is because it Directories are huge, that's what most people use for anything they want when they're looking for something, whether it be Yelp or whether it be Google, etc. So when you add it into your app for this example, we've got restaurants in Rome, landmarks in Rome. So if we click on restaurants in Rome, you will see here that we have a business listing. Now, the more listings I have, the more I can segregate this. So I could have a search feature where people can search for this certain type of business that they're looking for, or I can set certain businesses to premium listings where I can change the color uh, of their listing so they stand out and they'll always appear on top of all the other results. The listing page itself, you can have images, you can also have videos which can be played, um, you can have location, where if I click on the location, it will give me the directions via GPS to the location of that business. We have click the call, we have click the email, we have integrated in their Facebook, Twitter, website, and we can also associate coupons and loyalty cards with this business. And then underneath we have descriptions. The best part is, is you can choose what you want. If you don't want the call us button, you don't need to have it in. If you don't want the email us button, you don't need to have it in. If you don't want the description in or you don't want a Facebook or Twitter or a website listing or URL, you don't need to put it in. The choice is up to the user. 
and that's why people have been very creative with how they're using the directory feature within Zappable uh, to build apps. Because, like I said, you have a lot of choices and users have been finding it to be one of their most popular go-to features when they're building apps. The next is the Amazon catalog. I showed you this briefly in the UI. Well, I'll just show you it on the device. You'll see here products. They can click, they can click and buy now. It will go through their affiliate link and they'll be able to buy that product on Amazon. If they do, then you'll earn commissions. Video gallery, again, you can build out a video gallery as shown with YouTube. You can do custom, you can use Dropbox. You can see here the views. So if you're using YouTube, we can tap into that as well. You can add URLs underneath your videos, descriptions and so forth for call to actions. Then we have loyalty cards, again, very popular for any offline business where they can come in, get stamped, and they will get a free gift for the amount of stamps. So five stamps, six stamps, seven stamps. The choice can be set by the user. Next, we have RSS feeds. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. For example, you could have an RSS feed that only shows an excerpt. So if you click and read more, then it will take them to that article or you can have an RSS feed that shows the full content so I'll show you here it'll include all the images from the feed and it looks very 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 presentable um, to people you have coupons again great for offline business also can be great for e-commerce business you can give away digital coupons or you can give away coupons that need to be claimed They'll bring it in, the staff member will enter in the code and then a claim mark will come across the coupon and they won't be able to use that again. So there's lots of different options for coupons that people can use. The form builder is another great feature. And what it is, is it allows you to build out any type of form that you want. So for this, you'll see I've added an image up top saying, did you have a great experience? You can add whatever text or whatever image you want. How did you like your meal? So they can select. Would you recommend us to your friend? So they have options. How friendly were the staff? Now everything you see here, again, you can make whatever way you want. Some members use it to make different surveys in a lot of different niches. Others use it to do competitions and quizzes. So the choice is purely up to you. You can see you can get names, emails, phone numbers, and then the submit button. Now what's really cool is this hooks in with Infusionsoft, Aweber, MailChimp, and GetResponse, so you can use it to automatically transfer all that required data across. Or if you want, you can export the data from Zappable and import it into any program that you want. The export will be in a CSV file. iTunes, again, will be through your affiliate link, so you can just click, and you can see here, if you click on Buy Now, it'll take you to the iTunes store. And if they buy that, then the person will earn commissions. So with iTunes, I mean, when you think about it, there's movies, there's music, there's podcasts, there's ebooks. So there's a whole bunch of options that people have to help monetize their apps. Opt-in forms, again, for this here example, I just used a headline image. You can have whatever text you want, bullet points. You can add whatever images you want for your opt-in forms. The audio gallery, you can use audio RSS feeds, you can add your own custom audio with your mp3 files or .wav files, or you can hook directly into SoundCloud as well. So I'll just click play and show you the SoundCloud. You can see it integrates directly in with SoundCloud, so it's great, and SoundCloud's uh, quite a popular service. The image gallery, which is great for showcasing different services, products, rooms, meals. So there's countless options you can use with the image gallery. You can zoom in, you can make a slideshow, you can save the images to your phone. The choice is up to the user. Got static pages. What a static page is, is it allows you to add HTML into your app. But not only that, you can also use it to add in articles. Um, here's an article, for example, that we've just added in. You can add images into it and the choice is really up to you. It's extremely easy to use. If 
for example, articles, it's a matter of just copy and pasting text, or you can type the text in to the WYSIWYG editor um, if you wish. Facebook, we hook into Facebook so people can view Facebook fan page posts within their app. They can view the comments. If they click on comment, it will take them to the Facebook post within the fan page so they can leave a comment. If they click on share, it will share that, uh, that fan page or that post to their friends. So the notes feature allows people to add notes into their app. So you can just click on the plus symbol add the note which they want and then it'll be stored in the app they can also delete just by sliding across clicking on delete then we have the catalog this is great for e-commerce stores who want to build an app so you have complete control it kind of works exact same as amazon except you can control the buy now link or you can change the text in the buy now link to say whatever you wish I know users who have built apps for salons and beauty parlors, etc., where they build out the catalog for the services that that business offers. So you can completely customize and use each feature in many different ways. A location is where you can list different locations for maybe if a business has multiple branches or if you want to list multiple different landmarks within a city or restaurants and so forth again just the ad there's gps directions when you click on the arrow it will show you how to reach your destination based on the location you're currently at the pdf reader so you can add ebooks or pdf brochures into your apps appointment forms allow users to book um, appointments and it'll go through to the email specified we have instagram uh, twitter integration flickr um, website URL which is a great feature that allows users to add any website into their app for this I just link it to the Google page but you can link it to any page that you want uh, there's menus so there's menu services online such as all menus where they list menus and allow people to make reservations it's the same for book a table you can hook, hook into a lot of table reservation services such as open table which allow users to book a reservation for that business. Um, order food, same with the online food ordering portals, so people can order food within the app. You have another just standard sort of article page, which is, I just called this one About Us, for example. A contact form, name, email, comments, so they can provide so their comments or contact information if they require any advice on any topic or need to have a question answered and we have email us and call us which is just click the email click the call if i click the call us button it'll call the number that i specified and the same with the email if i click the email it'll open up my mail program that i use within my app 